All right, let's build a off-road mower trailer. This one's gonna be independent suspension with some little tiny ATV shocks, custom spindles, everything about it is custom. All right, first thing I did is went to my scrap metal bin and found this little nice uh, A-arm unit. This was just, again, thrown out at where I work. So cut it apart, had to cut the end here to uh, match the angles so that these sit uh, identical to each other so that the suspension will work. These are uh, nice and solid. They're nice, we're not solid, but nice, heavy duty, thick metal. Then the next thing I do is built myself some little spindles or the start to some spindles, toss these up. These are three quarter inch DOM tubing. They work great because you can throw a bolt in it and uh, lock in your tire on to your spindle. So that will slide in there and then you can put a bolt. I'm gonna lay the bolt that fits in right there and uh, that will lock it on. And then I have my shocks. I have to build the shock mounts on the frame. And then of course I have to mount these on the frame. All right, so like I was saying, got my bolt welded in to the spindles. They're not so much spindles, but they're, uh, they go into the rims. You get what I mean. Anyways, now I can put washers on here, lock down my nylon nuts there and boom. So now what we need to do is connect these units to these units. These are the trailing arms. So we just got to figure out how to get that onto there nice and strong. Let's get her done. Right, so a little bit of thinking and hopped on the lathe and this is how I'm gonna do it. So I made these little slugs, I'm gonna call them, and uh, I realized that both tubes have inner diameters and I own a lathe and can use it. So turn these down so that these can wait a minute down so that these can down so that these can fit slide in there, weld there. I'll cut this at a 90 degree weld that and then they'll get welded in these as well so great method let's get it all welded up and you'll see how it works all right so just like that we got them welded up all nice and true so now the wheel can get bolted right up to the back of here this can get cut and bent into there if you're wondering how i got that nice and straight it's just a jig here just two uh machine little spacers that go to the right length and i got uh i got three holes in the table uh they work great if you got obviously just Things you're working on, I can drop this uh, unit through the table, threaded portion through this hole in the table right here, and then uh, with these spacers, and then that'll give me a nice straight uh, dead on spot there. So works good. Let's get these welded up, cut 90, and on to the uh, trailing arms. All right, so as you guys can see, we got some brackets welded on. So these are going to be the upper trailing arm mounts. So as you can see, three quarter inch hole right there. We just got to drill it through the frame. We'll be good to go. All right, so with those mounted in, we can get the trailing arms bolted up and we can start getting the suspension built and the rest of the trailer. So things are gonna come together pretty quick. It's a nice, quick, simple build, but it's gonna be a great, useful trailer, especially for our mover landing trip coming up. All right, so we've done a few things to get the trailer further along. As you guys can see, we got the arms in here. Uh, they're just loosely put in, tack welded together. Uh, just so we could figure out the zero axis so the tires are both spinning and driving straight to the trailer perpendicular to the mower. Anyways, as you can see, we put a couple uprights in here, bent them up, put the strain across. Next thing we're going to be doing is building the rest of the trailer out forward. So we're cutting up some tube right now, or reaming some tube up and cutting it. And uh, that's, that's the next step. Get some tube forward, figure out how we want to do that. Another thing, I don't know if I did film it actually, is we got the front of the trailer assembly welded on. That's fully welded on, she ain't gonna snap off. It really adds a lot of rigidity into the front of the mower. Or, whoa, I'm so used whoa. to building mowers here, boys. <laughs> so much rigidity. <laughs> So much rigidity into the front of this trailer. So on the front of this, I'll just weld on or bolt on a uh, ball hitch assembly. So that's pretty sweet. We're gonna get this stuff tack welded in and get on with the rest, like I said, let's do that. All right, so we got our front posts in the upright position. We zeroed these in with the digital angle finder, which just makes everything exactly how you want it. Dead straight 90 or zero, whatever you want, you can get it with the digital angle finder. Next thing to do, like we said, get our bars across, get our side or our straight bars in. We got one bar working on it. Nick's working on the lower support. 
And then uh, also Nick was also working on turning uh, just some square little flat one inch bars into some nice little uh, shock tabs. So the uppers, these are actually the lowers on the control arms or sorry, the trailing arms. And then uh, these ones will probably be turned into the uppers or we might make something a little different to see how it goes. But anyways, that's the next thing to do. Get these tubes in and like I was saying, Nick's gonna do the upright ones. <laughs> All right, workbench is a mess. So that means work is getting done. As you guys can see, tubes bent up, got everything in. We got some front tubes on, back tube as you guys can see. We got some little uh, eighth inch bar here that we're gonna fill up the back with. You guys will see that in a little bit. Ran out of tubes, so we'll be heading to Metal Supermarket tomorrow or Friday and uh, getting the other side done and then filling in the rest and then figuring out the front. Anyways though, we're calling for the night. We'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, so there we go. We got the top tubes in. We got all these bars in the back put on, the front tubes, and check this out. Oh, the number you love to see when fabricating things. Zero. Damn, okay, let's get on to the next thing, which is uh, probably shock mounts. Let's do it. All right, shock, lower shock mounts are in. Just simple tabs that we made up. Like we were talking about, both of them in, they'll sit upright, still got to pick a ride height, and uh, build shock, upper shock tabs. Woof, loving it. Let's continue on. Next step. All right, so this is where I'm at, trying to think of a upper shock mount. It's got to be clever. It's got to look good. The rest of this trailer is starting to look pimping. I'm digging it. All right. Well, let's figure it out. Some way or another, I'm building it. All right, got two bent up, got one installed. As you can see, matches the angles. It's gonna work great with the shock mount. So two of them bent up, nice. Let's get her in there. All right, next parts of the puzzle. Couple pieces cut out. Got some nice flat stock there, five inch flat stock. Boom, all right. Anyways, these are gonna be the shock mounts. This is gonna be one half of it. They're not gonna be the same. On either side of the mower, the outside ones will be the same. So I just gotta figure out where I wanna make the holes. Probably gonna be somewhere close to, uh, to the end there, somewhere about there. Um, I just don't know if I'm gonna have one hole two hole make this thing adjustable we will see let's figure that out right now jack stand is out boom shock tabs are in upper shock tabs are in turned out pretty freaking skookum i love the way this thing's looking we'll just tack weld it in for now we still got to do the inner sides as you can see Innards still need to be done, so we'll be doing that tomorrow. I'm calling her for the night. We'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, making some progress. As you guys can see, we got the back pan on. Nice, cool hole designs. Pretty skookum. We also threw uh, the front plates on with some dimple dies. Laid up the little dimple die to get that done. And then the next pieces that we got to figure out are right in here. I'm thinking that kind of bend. So uh, let's bend that up and see what it looks like. We grab the Rogue Fab Bender and uh, just like that, you got two perfectly bent 45 degree tubes. And I'm thinking somewhere in there, I know it's hard to see, but something like that. I think it'll give it a cool look. Anyways, let's get those in and see what it looks like. All right, we've uh, done a few things and the camera obviously was not rolling, but that's fine because these are things we can just show you and you can see. Anyways, as we were talking about, we got these tubes bent in. That's kind of where we left off. Got these in. Nick, as you can see, got the floor pans in. It's expanded metal. It's a more tightly uh, knitted expanded metal, so that uh, works out good. So anything we put in there, it's going to stay in there. We're obviously going to figure out sides and stuff. All these sides, I believe Tony was working on the cardboard cutouts for those, and then those will be expanded metal as well. What else? Um, upper shock mounts. We got those in. They're uh, tack welded in. We got to do a little bit of bending to straighten out the tabs, but uh, they're in where we want. And uh, check this out. And I think even better than that, check this out. It's 
weird, but it's independent suspension, so that's how it works. Be on this side, be on that side. Tires are gonna be going. It's freaking. It's awesome. This thing is gonna be bumping. I'm digging it. I'm digging it, boys. Oh, it's sick. I know, like, this is going on the overlanding trip, obviously. This is why we're building it. Scrap is going to be hauling it because, uh, well, we don't want it on anymore. You know? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, uh, yeah, let's continue on. Next thing to do, like we are saying, we've been uh, kind of, we're going to do some boring stuff, welding stuff, reinforcing a few things like these uh, lower spindles, and then getting these uh, expanded metal pieces in. Let's get to it.